Good day, dear future injuries. Welcome to my channel. Welcome sa ating part 3 ng Engineering Mechanics, Dynamics of Rigid Bodies. This video is all about rectilinear motion with constant acceleration. If you are new to my YouTube channel, this, the discussion about this topic as well, the formula, is already discussed in our part 1. We have here a problem. A stone is thrown vertically up from the ground with a velocity of 300 feet per second. How long must one wait before drop dropping a second stone from the stop of a 600 tower if the two stones are to pass each other 200 feet the top of the tower? If we understand this situation, there is a two stone present one is thrown vertically upward from the ground and the other one is dropped from the top of the tower after analyzing this situation first thing to do is to draw a free body diagram before that we have here our formula that we will going to use to determine the time which goes S equals to initial velocity times time plus one half times acceleration times time squared. We will use this formula to find the time required for the first stone and the second stone. Here is our free body diagram or FBD in short. Assume that this is a 600 feet tower. Then the 600 feet tower will be divided into two portion. One is for 200 feet and the other one is for 400 feet. The 400 feet represents for the first stone as it's thrown vertically upward to from the ground and the second and the 200 feet will be represents to the second stone as it drop downward how long did they pass each other if the stone is dropped 200 feet how long does the second stone will reach the 200 feet and how long does the first stone will reach the 400 feet and passes each other after scrutinizing and analyzing those uh, situation we will now solve the for the time for the first stone we have our formula s equals to initial velocity times time plus one half times gravity times t squared so substitute all the values given we have here 400 equals 300 initial velocity times time plus one half times negative 32.2 for gravity in time squared then we can get 400 equals to 300 t minus 16.t squared by the way don't forget to write the units of each given I just um, hidden all the units here to make the situation short. To get the time, use quadratic equation. If you came up with this situation, this this is the time now to use the uh, quadratic equation, which goes t equals negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus four ac over two a which goes A stands for 
Then B stands for 300. Then C stands for the constant 400. By quadratic equation, we can get two values which are t equals to 17.186 seconds and t equals to 1.44 seconds. Now, in this situation, we will use the maximum time values that the stone must reach, which goes, which is t equals to 17.186 seconds. Then use this time in solving the time required for the second stone. So we have here our formula again, S equals to initial velocity times t plus one half g t squared. In this situation, they, in the problem, there is no velocity, there is no speed given, so we, we will put it as zero. Substitute all the values since the stone is um, traveled only to 200 feet so we will put there in the distance portion in s substitute by 200 feet equals to one half times 32.2 times 17.186 minus t squared Then, we can get 200 equals to 16.1 times 17.186 squared minus 2 times 17.186 t minus t squared. In which we can get 200 equals to 4756.38 minus 553.45t plus t squared. Anyway, you can rewrite this one to t squared minus 553.45t plus 4556.38. So by, by quadratic equation, we can get t equals 13.67 seconds and this is now our final answer. So another problem here, a ship being launched slides down the waist with a constant acceleration. She takes 8 seconds to slide the first foot. How long will she take to slide down the waist if their length is 625 feet? According to the problem we have here given, S is equal to 625 feet and another one is 1 feet when 8 seconds. Our velocity is equal to zero since that there is no velocity given in the problem so we will remain at zero then use formula again s equals to initial velocity times t plus one half times acceleration times t squared then we have here our solution by using the this formula for displacement so since our velocity is velocity initial is zero so we'll put it as zero plus one half times acceleration times t squared our substitute our s is equal to one when it when the time is eight seconds so we will substitute 
accelerate uh, eight here in t portion to get the acceleration so by substituting and calculating it we can get acceleration equals to 0 0.03125 feet per second square feet. note we, we don't want to round it off since it is not our final answer because it will cause trouble to our final answer then substitute by using again the formula but here the our displacement is already the whole ship which is which have 625 feet so equals to one half times the acceleration 0 0.03125 feet per second squared times t squared so that we can get 200 seconds or 3 minutes and 20 seconds and this one is our final answer by the way to continue this discussion don't forget to like if you are new to our youtube channel please like and leave a comment in the comment section don't forget also to subscribe for more updates. An automobile starting from rest speeds up to 440 feet per second with a constant acceleration of 4 feet per second squared runs at this speed for a time and finally comes to rest with a deceleration of 5 feet per second squared. If the distance traveled is 1000 feet, find the total time required. So in this situation, it looks like very tedious to solve. But I have carried it on. So by analyzing this problem, I came up with this given initial velocity is 0, final velocity is 40 feet per second, acceleration is 4 feet per second squared, and we have also deceleration or acceleration is 5 feet per second squared. Our distance is 1000 feet. So our required is the total time. By analyzing this problem, I came up with this free body diagram. We have here an automobile travels at a this distance one, which which have an acceleration of four feet per second squared. After the the S one, we have the the automobile still travels, but this time the the speed is forty feet per second, and it decelerates. 5 feet per second squared all in all the automobile tra travels the automobile travels 1000 feet to determine the time required we will solve each time for an automobile traveled have for the S1 displacement 2 and displacement 3 so we will use form the formula V F minus velocity initial equals A time 1. Solution We have final velocity minus initial velocity times acceleration times time sub 1 for the displacement for the first displacement that the automobile traveled. We have our uh, velocity 40 equals to 4t1 then we can get time 1 equals to 10 seconds now this the distance of uh, the automobile traveled for 10 seconds is by substituting the values of t we have which is 10 we can get S1 
equals to 200 feet. Now in 10 seconds and it accelerates 4 feet per second, the motomobile is traveled 200 feet within 10 seconds. For the displacement too, it's still um, it's still an equation, so we must set aside this one first. So we have final velocity minus initial velocity equals negative a times three times t sub 3. So this formula, we will use this formula to find the, the time sub 3. By substituting, we can get t equals to 8 seconds. Now, we can solve the Displacement traveled an automobile within 8 seconds. This one is the third distance. By substituting, we can get and calculating, we can get S3 equals to 160 feet. All in all, the distance traveled is 100 feet. Now we don't have a value for this, the second displacement so that we will add all the displacement so that we can get S2 is equal to 640 feet. How long does it travels within this displacement? So we will find the time. 640 equals to 40 t sub 2 which is equal to 16 seconds now let's add all the time that an automobile traveled in every this distance we have time total equals to time 1 plus time sub 2 plus time sub 3 so that we can add 10 plus 16 plus 8 and all in all an automobile traveled within 1000 feet is 34 seconds and this is now our final answer next we have here a problem another problem which goes an automobile moving at a constant velocity of 45 feet per second passes a gasoline station. Two seconds later, another automobile leaves the gasoline station and accelerates at the constant rate of 6 feet per second squared. How soon will the second automobile overtake the first? In this situation, we can analyze that the given is velocity is equal to 45 feet per second and the acceleration is 6 feet per second squared. Our required is our time. So we must find the time of how the second automobile overtake the first. We have our solution. For, we have equations based on the situation. Equation 1, V was to distance over time which goes d equals to 45 t our second equation we have d equals to one half plus a times acceleration times d minus 2 squared since that uh, we don't have an initial velocity therefore the initial velocity times time will remain to zero that is why we only have this equation d equals to one half times acceleration times t minus two squared substitute equation
equation 1 to equation 2 which goes 45t as the value for the distance equals 1 half times 6 times t squared minus 4t plus 4 since we already substitute this a function then calculate we can get 15 t equals t squared minus 4 t plus 4 or 19 t plus t squared minus 4 since that we will going to transpose the 4 t here negative 4 t so we it goes now as positive t so we can have so we have here 19 t By quadratic equation, we can get t equals to 18.79 seconds. After 2 seconds, since that it mentioned in the problem that 2 seconds later, an automobile passes the gasoline station. So we will subtract the 2 seconds in 18.79 seconds, which goes... 16.79 seconds and this is now our final answer that's all thank you for watching Ho hope you've learned a lot and you already subscribed my youtube channel but before that i have here a problem which allows you to answer and comment it in the comment section. A train travels between two stations one half mile apart in a minimum time of 41 seconds. If the train accelerates and decelerates at 8 feet per second squared, starting from rest at the first station and coming to a stop at the second station, what is the maximum speed in mph or mile per hour? How long does it travel at this top speed? Your answer will be commented in the comment section below. Hope you got the correct answer. By the way, the answer of this problem will be solved in the next video. That's all. Thank you.